But I can tell you this much. I have seen multiple times, more times probably than what I can remember today, when the power of God moved upon a human being and changed the condition of their body. Come on, somebody say amen. You know, I, I have this, this memory. Rocky, when we were in uh, the first time we went to India, and that woman way back yonder, I never met her, I don't know what her name is, but way back out there, 15, 20,000 people, she's way back out there at the edge of the crowd, that God healed her of cancer. And they put that in the newspaper. I have seen, I, I've told you oftentimes, my great aunt Ruth was sent home to die with cancer. And she was in the process of dying when the hand of God touched her life and radically changed her and made her whole. I know about that. I remember, I remember on a Tuesday night in a little church house many, many years ago, a boy they brought up that, that couldn't walk and his hands were twisted up to him. And I saw with my own eyes that boy get up and jump and run and his fingers and hands were made whole. I saw that with my eyes. That's not something I read about somewhere. I could stand here for quite a while and just, just talk to you about things I've seen. You know, I remember when I first got saved and my mama, I hadn't been saved a week and my mama, they diagnosed her with a tumor behind her eye. I didn't know all the ramifications of that. I just remember as a brand new believer, I went straight, got on my knees and I asked God to heal her and make her whole. And within two weeks, she stood up and testified, or she testified in our driveway actually that they had just come back from the doctor and they couldn't find any kind of tumor behind her eye I have so many memories coming to me I remember being in this little church and there was a I walked in as a young evangelist down the side of this this little church had wooden floors and the wooden pews and the little building was packed and when I walked by I heard some ladies some some uh, older ladies sitting over here and the one lady was saying I, I went to the doctor they told me I am deaf in one ear and almost deaf in the other ear I heard her say that when I walked by at about the time I got out of range of her speaking she said but I've come to church tonight to be healed and I remember when all the melee broke out in the altar service it was one of those and I walked up to the edge of that platform and that lady was standing here and I'm trying not to fall and there's people everywhere and I yelled because they were playing music really loud and I yelled at her as loud as I could hey sister and you know she had the hair piled up and that head went to going like this, and off she went. Way out yonder somewhere. I don't know where she went. But at the end of that service, the pastor was having people testify, and that little lady came up, and she told everybody what she found out at the doctor. And she said, I couldn't hear. She said, I went up to the altar, and I heard somebody yell at me and say, can you hear? I couldn't even hear. It was so loud. And she said, I heard that voice, I, I could, and I realized I could hear clearly with both ears. And off she went, I could tell you story after story after story, just like you could tell. Of what God's done in your life, in your house, in your family. Matthew 9.35, Jesus went about all their cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. You are a part of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is in you. And when Jesus went about preaching the kingdom of heaven, he was preaching that healing was available to those who would believe? Are you part of the kingdom? Is the kingdom in you? Are you a kingdom believer?